you were the first person to tell me about the scams of the whole mortuary industry, about how much money they get you for. Like, no matter, even if you want to get an embalming, you still, or even if you want to get uh, someone cremated, you still have to get them embalmed. You still have to fill them up with so. formaldehyde. And you were explaining the casket, so they like guilt you into getting a nicer casket. Oh, yeah. What do you want? You, you want to be buried in four pieces of wood or you want the Cadillac of caskets? How weird is that? I got one with a sunroof. It's, you know, they got everything now. But how weird is it that people give a fuck what the box looks like that they bury you in? So strange. The, what, the things that people do to show that they cared when someone was alive. Buy a fancy box to put them in. Like, if that's me, save your money. Me too. Yeah. I remember I had that joke, just bury me in the yard. My friend. That's how you're his supposed uncle to died. Die. And they wanted 15 grand. And I'm like, you got a yard that's huge. Yeah. That was an old joke. I'm like, you know, you got a hard 15,000. Not only that, then then the person gets cycled back into life. You become a part of the earth again. Because, like, what we're doing is very unnatural. We stop the body from decaying. So you stop bacteria from eating it. You stop the soil from being enriched by it. It's all a natural part of the cycle of life of all living things. And we've removed ourselves from it. We removed ourselves from it, you know, and you could say, well, it was a good thing because you ever watch that HBO show with uh, Dr. Michael Baden, autopsy? Sometimes they exhume people and they find out that the wife really did it. And you ever watch that show? Fuck yeah. That we've fucking had, show was amazing. We've had m numerous conversations. Yeah. In fact, they took Biden, that, that, what was his name? Michael Bowden? Michael Baden. Baden. He was retired and they took him back to get the autopsy for, on, Epstein. Uh, on Epstein. That dude. And they found out that he, has a, he had a fracture in his neck. That was indicative of being strangled with a ligature, like a, or like some sort of a fucking oh, cord. cord. Yeah, and that that this wasn't like when people hang themselves. When they hang themselves, the weight of it goes up because your body is hanging down. So it's like you're getting pulled. This was down on his neck, like low, like someone strangled him from behind. In his throat, the bones in his neck were fractured, which is also like a ligature strangulation. Isn't that weird how that just went down? It's still going down. Like it disappeared. Like it Gawain, just they put Ghislaine in jail and they never released a client list. That that is insane. The fact that that's okay with people, and you know everybody's freaking out about Bud Light. You, okay, you care about Bud Light? <laughs> care about Bud Light? You should really care about that because it's showing that people that are in power can probably have people killed and probably hide evidence that they did something that people would find atrocious. Like that, and we just never questioned it. Yeah. He died, we knew it was, he knew, we knew it was the fucking mystery man. I think it's good, there's more of that. <clears throat> the more of that shit that's out there, the more people realize how fucking ridiculous it is to think that these people that are in positions of power give a fuck about you. They don't. 